It's graduation season, so remember this. When a graduate is female and commences extramural, alumna in the singular, alumni in the plural. If male, the situation is different, though not much. Alumnus if there's one of them, alumni for a clutch. Although coeducation potentially perplexes, alumni is in general use as plural of mixed sexes. Alumni means, in Latin, the foster sons and daughters of mothers who give nourishment, that is, their alma maters. As for pronunciation, Cicero might disagree. Most make alumni rhyme with I, alumni rhyme with E. Alumni in mixed company might as well let I prevail. The Latin sound is feminine, the Latin spelling male. No wonder that a simpler way to spoken English comes. Alum now suits both singulars. In the plural, it's alums. Want to hear another one? This one written 20 years ago in the reign of George I and recently updated. Phenomena is plural. Phenomenon, for one. It's from the Greek, as Bloom said, and isn't English fun. The same goes for criterion, a requirement. I fizz to hear the word criteria, the plural used with is. Now, a thesis is a statement of idea, in plural theses. Prosthesis and hypothesis are both related species. I heard a politician once declare that he'd weathered many crises. Crises, he meant, and I wish him one more by the voters' good advices. Enough for Greek, now Latin. Medium, for example, and more than one is media, and this is just a sample. Agenda once was plural, things which are to be done, Though now it's just the list of same, yet long do meetings run. Now, if you want my feelings on data, is or are, if on indexes or indices the market fell as far, if memoranda is preferred, as plural of memorandum, and other cruxes so unsure that few can understand them, I'll send you to a lexicon and then into the street and leave to you just what to do whenever they don't meet. These words from forgotten declensions have been caught in the general decline of the West, an incomprehension of English's classical line. You may say it's the least of our worries. I must say I completely agree. Why not murder the mother tongue freely when the president speaks and goes free? Not you, Obama. I meant Bush, the first, in fact. And then, after an interval of Bill, I meant it all again. But look, I do not want to hear Barack for him and I. Prepositions all take objects for him, for me. Please try to model proper English. You can keep the common touch with those folksy little phrases you seem to like so much. And I'll admit to those of you who've heard me out this far, I kind of like the language I hear at my local bar. It's salty, like the peanuts, though difficult to speak. I can handle the Greek plurals, but the rest is also Greek. Here in Salonika, sas